Hello, beautiful souls. Here we are in an alley. It's an alley by the river. I'm gonna walk this alley and then go down into the river. But I figured I'll do a blog why I'm making better choices. Instead of sulking and being depressed, I'm going to get out and take a walk. So here we are. Ta-da! Um, hope you all are doing okay. Um, I'm hanging in there over the past, I don't know, seems like a week now. My whole life has been turned upside down, crazy. Feels like I've been sucker punched in the stomach. And so I'm just dealing with that right now. But I thought I should let you guys know that I did go to that meeting, um, the Al Anon meeting, or whatever it's called. I don't think it's Al Anon, it's Non Anon, or I don't know. I don't think I've told you guys about this. Maybe I, maybe, maybe I feel like maybe I did. That yeah, it was all right, but I didn't really, I don't feel like it's gonna be the fit for me. Oh, sweet, I'm coming up on somebody. Oops. Cool. This is a rare occasion. Um... It was just, um, it was fine, but, like, I kind of already know, you know, like, the three C's or something, one of them is you can't control the situation, and I'm like, yeah, I know that, I know that already, and I'm not trying to, cool, it's a homeless dude, um, and I forgot the other C's. I don't know. Control something. I don't know. Anyways, I already feel like I have that under control. <laughs> and I think what turned me off the most about it was this girl was there and she was new and God, I feel like I've already told you guys this. But, um, her husband and boyfriend, or whatever, of 30 years, she just found out that he's a meth addict. And he's now living in a van with his 25 year old girlfriend. And he's been doing meth for a couple years now. And she's devastated which rightfully so. I mean, when you first find out, it's devastating. I've been, I've been dealing with this for so many fucking years that I've already gone through the fucking steps. But this is fresh for her. And she was really upset. And after the meeting, everybody took off. Like, wasn't really talking to her or nothing. And I, ended, I was the one that sat there and talked to her for like, I don't know, however long to like, not talk her down, but like hear her, hold space for her. And I'm just like, I'm new here. Like, not that it's not my job, but it's not my fucking job. Like, what about the team leaders? Or the meeting leaders, like, they're the ones that should be like, hey, you know, you need somebody to talk to, here's my number, something. Look at this open land, no house, nothing. Huh. Huh. Interesting. 
I wonder what that's about. But yeah, so that just, that really turned me off. I'm just like, what the fuck? You guys are just dipping out like nothing's going on. So, oh, look at the moon. And the cloud looks neat underneath of it. That's awesome. Oh my God.